people who have disabilities sometimes don't immediately remind us of ourselves. There's, there's something there that we focus in on. Some of the messages that we've been given throughout our childhood about who people are and who people aren't, some of the messages we get from the media. And then we crank the magnifying glass up and amplify that. Once you see that, then it's pretty hard to see the person. For many with intellectual and developmental disabilities, this has meant segregation, isolation, and exclusion with little or no opportunity to access the good things in life. In the early 1970s, Wolf Wolfensberger promoted an idea that challenged our understanding of what normal is for people with intellectual disabilities and forever change the field of human services. I learned about the principle of normalization through my contact with um, uh, three leading Scandinavian figures, Niels Erik Bank Mikkelsen, Bengt Nierje, and Karl Grunewald. There was no normal rhythm of day. There was no normal rhythm of week in the institution. They were abnormal. And I wanted a normal, that's normal life conditions as possible. Taking steps with people that, you know, were culturally normative, so not warehousing them, that's not culturally normative. Community living, rights. The range of choices about lifestyle and living situation and relationships that all of us have. That made a difference in their life, but it also made a profound difference in how other people saw them. And because it affected how other people saw them, it then affected how other people treated them. But the principle of normalization was only as good as the people who implemented it. Every good idea has within it the seeds of perversion. As the idea of normalization spread, its interpretation became distorted the institutional parents, the old guard parents. What do you mean, my kid's not normal and now you're telling me we're making them normal? That's not what the principal says, but that's how people heard it because they didn't want to deal with the real stuff. It has been the thing that has been for me tried and true that really works. It is the thing that seems to make it most likely that people will have really good lives. Wolf is one of the most influential figures of the 20th century. The world is a better place today because of Wolf Wolfensberger. I feel like it's a really important time in our field to revive the ideas related to normalization. We need people like Wolf. We needed him then and we need people like Wolf now to pull the veil away.